Hi students, I heard you have some questions about activity C, so I wanted to go through it with you. So first it asks you to click clear, create a circuit as shown, click the battery to select it and set the selected battery voltage to 15 volts. So I'm gonna start building my circuit. Here's my battery, but you can see it's going in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna grab it and move it so the positive is facing up. Then we need a switch and it says off in the picture. So I'm gonna turn it off. And we want two light bulbs and we're making them in parallel. They are parallel to each other, so we call that a parallel circuit. And then we connect everything with wires. All right, and we can turn it on. Beautiful. Now it says, we are looking at what the properties of a parallel circuit are. Um, so how does each light bulb affect the others? So we wanna add two more light bulbs. Here we go. Connect them with wires, same brightness. And let's see if this, this one changes anything. Same brightness. So they don't really affect each other. They can all coexist. Now use the ammeter to measure the current in various parts of the circuit. So next to the battery, we're gonna have the total, we should have the total current. Oh wait, I forgot to change my battery to 15 volts. So check the battery um, and change it to 15 volts because that will make it nicer math. All right, so four amps is the total current. And then we want to check the current on each branch. So we have one amp, one amp, one amp, and one amp on each branch of the circuit. So how do the branches um, tell you the total well, you add them up. One plus one plus one plus one equals four, the total um, amps in the circuit. So then we go down here with the battery voltage set to 15 volts, which we already have, measure the current in a parallel circuit. Um, all right, so you did that. One, 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 and one. Now the total resistance. So for the resistance, we have to use the ohm meter. And to use the ohm meter, we have to disconnect the battery. And then we're going to put one here and one here. So our total ohms are 3.75. Now if we go on each, 3.75. Let's move this up here. 3.75. 3.75. 3.75. So our ohms seem to stay the same no matter where I put this. 3.75. So how do you find the resistance of a parallel circuit with n identical resistors? So any number of identical resistors. What do you think? Now, what will be the total resistance and current in a parallel circuit with a 15 volt battery and three 10 ohm resistors? So what we can do is we can remove our light bulbs and we want three 10 ohm resistors. One, two, three. And we have our 15 volt battery. So what is the total resistance? So we need to calculate our total resistance. So our resistance over so if we just have one, right, if we have one 10 ohm resistor, it's 10 ohms. But if we have three 10 ohm resistors, it's split at point or 3.33 ohms each. And if we add up three, six, nine plus the change, we get a total of 10 ohms. 
So we're, we're adding up the resistance. What will be the total resistance? All right, so we checked that. We did it. Pretty cool. All right, household appliances are usually connected in a parallel circuit. Why do you think it might be a problem if too many appliances are turned on at once? Hint, current in a wire also produces heat. So if there's too much current flowing through any one of those sections of wire, it can produce a lot of heat, which could catch fire. So that's why there are only so many things can be on one circuit. You might have heard in your house you have a circuit breaker, and that puts um, different sections of the house on different circuits, and that circuit breaker has fuses in it so that before a wire gets too hot or before a wire has too much current going through it, the fuse will blow, and that will stop it from getting too hot and starting a fire. And so while that's a little bit annoying, it's for safety. All right, now down here is I think where we got stuck. So this just shows you how to calculate current, and then it shows you some substitutions. So if um, I is equal to V over R, that means uh, if you wanna find the current, you just have to do V over R, and V over R equals V over the resistor number one, V over resistor number two plus V over resistor number three. So that's just showing you how they came up with this equation. And this equation is the equation for resistance. So in this practice, it asks you to use this one over R equals one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3, etc. for however many resistors you have in a circuit. So I'm gonna bring over little green for the first question. So we have a parallel circuit with a 20 ohm resistor and a 10 resistor. And so what we're going to do is to determine the resistance of the entire circuit, we're going to use this equation. And we have 1 over 20 plus 1 over 10. So 1 over 20 is 0 0.05. 1 over 10 is 0.1. So 1 over R is going to equal 0.15. Now we do some math gymnastics, right? We're going to multiply both sides by R, and then we're going to divide both sides by 0.15, and we get R equals 1 over 0.15. So the resistance is going to equal 6.66 ohms, the total resistance on that circuit. So hopefully that clarifies a little bit. Maybe if you have specific questions, you can let me know later and I can do one another example for you and post it. So just let me know. I'll post this and hopefully it helps you understand the last part of this gizmo.